Hello everyone and welcome on board Windillo uh, again. Today is about what owners love about our, our multi-holes. Uh, it's about the indoor-outdoor living concept and the big uh, large modular spaces, uh, whether it's from the front of the boat all the way to the back uh, and how you really experience life on board a catamaran um, from the Windillo range, uh, whether you're underway or at anchor. A key feature of the Windelo DNA is to have created this very large uh, one floor space, uh, open plan, so a very large, uh, in this case L-shaped galley, uh, dining and lounging area for the, for the family. Uh, we have a sofa here uh, that extends onto the chart table and the watch bed, um, which uh, is during the day a fantastic day bed uh, with the bay windows open behind you, sheltered from the sun. How that all works is uh, with a number of uh, openings and bay windows. We have one at the front here uh, from the cockpit uh, into the bridge deck, which is uh, you know, the, the initial flow of air coming in from the front of the boat. Um, and then either side we have uh, long openings along the, uh, the side of the boat, uh, so you really create that outside atmosphere. And at the back here as well you can allow the flow to continue uh, or to come in through the back with the huge bay windows. And there's even more to it. Uh, the hull of the back of the boat opens up with this tilting door, which we're going to show you now, and a terrace uh, that expands the living space onto the water. To enjoy uh, life at anchor here outdoors, uh, we have the platform, uh, which lowers to become a terrace, and the tilting door, which raises. Uh, both of these are operated from the winch on the port side behind me. The first thing we're going to do, therefore, is lower the terrace, aka bathing platform. Both the terrace we've just seen and the tilting door are operated from this uh, winch in a very simple way. Uh, they descend by gravity um, and so that will complete the setup of this around about 16 square meter terrace here. Within a few moments here, we've set up a very nice dining area for up to 10 guests or family members. Uh, we're actually uh, in the shade from the, from the roof, so no need for added parasols or biminis. Uh, and we do also have some ambiance lighting for um, evening dinners um, out here. If your plan is Nevertheless, to go out for dinner, um, the dinghy is accessible to be boarded from the platform very conveniently and lowered um, thanks to the platform winch that's here. Outdoor chilling and socialising also expands towards the front of the boat at the trampoline. With access either from the sides or directly from within the living space through the cockpit, um, we reach the trampolines at the front with additional 35 square meters roundabout of uh, chilling and socializing space. Innovation has been at the heart of the living spaces also aboard Windelo. So with the uh, multiple living spaces, all the modular functionalities of the indoor outdoor living, uh, and lots of uh, opportunities to, uh, to chill and uh, socialize from the front all the way to the back of the boat and connected throughout.
As we prepare to set sail from here again, um, you'll see that all of the features we've just covered um, adapt uh, and transform to uh, support us underway and ensure the safety and the well-being of the crew as well. And before leaving, we're going to um, shut the tilting door and raise the platform. And so the sequence here is as easy as when we arrived, just uh, reverse. The platform here will be raised and become the transom, so thus enclosing completely and safely the back of the boat. And so all of this is done from the same floor plan um, with connectedness through the front all the way to the back of the boat and vice versa. And a lot of communication with the crew and here we can feel the flow of air that's uh, starting again. And so here from the cockpit we have a great flow of air uh, as throughout the whole of the boat. Flow of air um, from the front to the back. Uh, or whatever the wind is doing. You have really a feel for the outside uh, um, situation, if you so wish. Uh, but if you don't, or if the conditions uh, are such um, that you might want to shut uh, the cockpit off from the rest of the living space, then that can also be done, um, which means that you've really separated, you have a place dedicated to navigating and to sailing and another place where life on board continues um, quite seamlessly. But most of the time you'll have both of these open and connected together uh, for the whole crew. So whether from the cockpit or any of the living spaces on the bridge deck here, you have a great view uh, on all of the water and the nature around you. Uh, obviously anything that's surrounding uh, and also a lot of light uh, pouring into all these living spaces. And so to sum it up from uh, the cockpit here, uh, what the Windy Low DNA uh, really offers is this whole modularity of the living spaces, uh, vast spaces to enjoy both indoors and outdoors as opposed to smaller spaces, um, and outdoors at any time uh, in the shade, which is what we're looking for nowadays, um, with a lot of connectedness uh, for the whole crew, uh, everything here on the same uh, uh, floor plan, but also the opportunity um, to close off uh, and for everybody to have their sort of little chill zone if they like, or take part in uh, the navigation um, and the cockpit being a very safe place also for kids uh, to join you and whatnot. So very, very modular, uh, flexible uh, and seamless living on board.